Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets, the markets that continue to roar and soar in 2018. Uh, whether that's attributed to Trump is a different story altogether. Anyway, either way, let's uh, continue. Uh, so, market analyst at CFDs.com, certainly be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now, um, in terms of stats-wise, I think we already know, uh, basically hitting new highs almost every day now. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video on the US market, so let's see exactly what's happening. Uh, Asian markets overnight, relatively higher. Uh, US markets yesterday, I mean, still continuing to sell and move, although the Dow did actually give some back, okay. Uh, Dow certainly uh, coming to a standstill. So let's look at the technical picture because I think the fundamentals, we already know the backdrop. Really, it's the uh, US market certainly uh, ripping higher. That's probably the best way of explaining it. Okay, so let's see uh, where we're headed. Okay, now the bull party certainly continues to rage on. Okay, let's look at the Dow. The Dow yesterday put in a potentially bearish candle. Uh, again, let's see if that can sustain itself. Again, we're in uncharted territory. There's no real support or resistance levels to work off. Investors are more than happy to buy and buy and buy some more. Okay, in terms of the Dow transports yesterday, it uh, still continues on the back of that infrastructure spending bill that certainly seems to be uh, seeing the light of day or is going to see the light of day let's see what happens there a lot of people obviously want to front run that now and uh, the uh, dow jones industrial uh, certainly you know trans transportation should i say certainly ripping higher so again you have to respect it for now it's very hard to argue to the contrary in terms of the s p 500 then again this is an index that continues to roar higher as you can see we made new highs at 2748 when does it stop? Nobody knows. The market certainly is overly bullish now. Bear in mind, though, whenever you have a bullish market like this, leaving gaps behind, it's always vulnerable to a retracement. So the first retracement is seen at 27.24. You've got another gap fill around 27.13, another gap fill below at 26.96, and you've got 26.73, and then you've got 26.52. So all those caps are certainly vulnerable to being closed. So watch out for a potential fundamental market shock. That certainly causes a sharp reversal. Okay, so it retraces seen back down 27.34, 27.43, and then the two gap fills 27.24 and 27.12. So let's see how that transpires. Now, one of the major concerns that I have with this market at the moment is the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 has failed to confirm the move higher, and that's my real concern uh, from my perspective. As you can see here, 60 minute chart has made no new highs, and daily chart has failed to move higher as well. So when the Russell 2000 is obviously sort of lagging behind, shall we say, it certainly is a cause for concern. Okay, that's all I can say for now. A major, major cause for concern going forward. So bear that in mind, okay? Uh, in terms of the uh, the rest of the market, let's see exactly where we are in terms of the market pr present. Uh, you've got the Russell certainly lagging behind. Let's look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ itself continues to roar as well. It continues to roar and soar, okay? Daily chart as well, on target territory. It's very hard to justify a short position there unless you have fundamental reasons for a potential reversal, and that's what I'm relying on right now. Okay, I'm not going to buy this uh, potential rally higher uh, from my perspective, unless fundamentals obviously confirm it, then I'm more than happy to buy it. But at the moment, I can't, I'm struggling to find any real fundamental reason. A lot of the bullish news certainly is baked in, and you don't really want to be buying the froth or the top. Okay, just bear that in mind. In terms of cross referencing the NASDAQ, again, no new high in the biotechs. Okay, so that's going to cause for concern. Looking at uh, semiconductors as well. Okay, double top on the semicons certainly indicates that a potential top in the NASDAQ is near. Okay, so when you have a top in the semicons, you have biotechs reversing. It certainly isn't a good sign at all for the NASDAQ to be making new highs. So again, that's something as well that causes concern for me. Okay, it's only the Dow transports that are really leading this market higher. Uh, everything else certainly is lagging from that perspective, so bear that in mind. Now we can cross-reference the main sectors. So you've got the technology technology index that's causing the Nasdaq S&P obviously to rip high, and you can see we're into new highs. So very hard to argue to the contrary, unless you're bearish fundamentals. Uh, industrials as well. These are the top uh, four or five percent of the um, uh, top four sectors in the S&P. So again, roaring higher. Now, healthcare is one of the uh, sectors or one of the areas that I'm certainly focusing on, given the fact that uh, we've broken higher on healthcare, but whether or not we can sustain that rally is yet to be seen, okay? And also the energy sector as well, that's another one that certainly has pushed higher, uh, although it comes around fifth and sixth, but we are now approaching that gap fill. So again, cause for concern in terms of the energy sector as well. So uh, consumer discretionary, let's just quickly look into that as well. Consumer discretionary, although it has broken out, put in a doji candle yesterday, so a potential reversal may well be on the card. So 
Again, another cause for concern. So there's a lot of areas there that we really need to focus on, keep an eye out for in terms of the next move on the markets. Okay, folks, so that's basically where we stand. So US indices, yes, certainly pushed higher. Okay, I have to respect that to a large extent, but bear in mind, folks, okay, bear in mind also as well that a lot of the bullish news certainly is already baked in. You don't really want to be buying the frost. So again, that certainly is a cause for concern. Looking at the commodity index, Commodity index certainly seems to have topped out as well. So again, you're looking at double top here on the commodity index, and that's not a time ready to be buying indices. So again, cause for concern. That's another argue reason why I'm not looking for a bearish argument. Okay, oil prices certainly have put in a topping tail yesterday as well. So certainly another argument for the commodities start to move lower, which in turn obviously causes the indices to move lower as well. So a lot of arguments building here for a potential reversal in the market. Okay, it's just a Dow Transports that's really lifting this market, keeping it afloat. Can that continue? So all eyes on the Dow and the Dow Transportation for the next potential move. On the on that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus and the trades and visit trade signal. Download the latest app. Goodbye now.